Okay, so today, guys, I'm off to see a guy called Tom Hale, who's a retired GP. Well, I say a retired GP. He was um, he was a GP for six months, and then he decided to become a senior lecturer, teaching surgeons anatomy at Liverpool University. Yeah, he's a really well-respected guy. He's actually in his 92nd year. Anyway, he's just called me up and said he's got a Lotus Elite from 1977. And he bought the car new in 1977. He's done 170,000 miles in it over the years. He's had some fantastic fun. But he's just come to the realization that he's never gonna restore the car. He's never gonna get it back on the road. And he wondered, did I wanna purchase the car? So it's something quite far removed from anything I've done in the past. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm really up for the challenge. So. Let's go around, see him, have a conversation, listen to his stories about cars, where he was when he bought the car new, what was going through his mind, and more importantly, let's have a look at this Lotus. So here we are again. It's like I'm a glutton for punishment and I just can't turn it down. Like I said, I've never tackled a Lotus before, so it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. But I suppose that's what piques the interest, isn't it? Keeping it varied and your choice is eclectic. It's all about the challenge. And whenever I view a prospective purchase or resto project, you can just feel the anticipation and the excitement building inside. Now this is my Lotus Elite, which I've had since 1977. And it's been a great friend. It's, we've been everywhere. We've been to Cornwall. We've been all over the north of Scotland. We've been everywhere. And I've enjoyed driving it enormously. Wow. I've rebuilt the engine, the gearbox, and it's now a 2.2, although no one knows that except us. It's got a lot more torque, and it pulls beautifully in fifth gear. It's been a, it's been a very happy car. I've had a lot of fun out of it. More so than any other car I think I've had. I had Cooper S's and I always enjoyed those, I have to say. But that, that, that has been my sort of favourite over the long term. Can we take a look? Yeah. So how long has it been sitting here, Tom? Sorry? How long has it been sitting here? Quite a long while. Yeah. A few years. Yes. It's got a... Oh, I, I, I'd have to look it up. It's, it's a very long time. Yeah. I pump up the tyres regularly. Uh, I, that's about all I can do to it. So has this got the two litre engine in it? It's got a 2.2, I built, I rebuilt the engine. Oh right. It, I wanted the extra torque, but I, yeah. I've, I've got a higher final drive. So what, you've replaced the, the crankshaft and the pistons? Yes, yeah, yeah. A new crankshaft. And it is a better, with a bit more power? Oh yes, it's very, very good indeed, but it's such a long time since I drove it. It, 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 it. We had some lovely times out, we've been to Scotland and down to Cornwall, we've been everywhere in this. When I think about it, uh, you know, it, it means more to really than than the Porsche. Yeah. Uh, in, in 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 happy driving and all the rest. So you bought this new in 1977, yeah. was it? Yeah. Wow. 1977. And what were you doing back then? I mean, were you young teaching doctor? Liverpool University? All oh, right. right. I used to drive. I, occasionally, I'd go in in it, but I've all, all I've had a Golf for heaven knows how many years. And, I always use that as the, I've always had a sort of a backup. Around. I think I read a road test on them and they were very complimentary about it and I, I like the look of them. I, I know I like this one very much indeed when they came out and I thought that that was it. And I used to change this quite regularly. The cam belt. Oh, so, oh. so these are cooling pipes, Tom, these loose ones here? Yeah, yeah, that's right, they're cooler pipes, yeah. Did you upgrade the engine because you thought it was underpowered? Yeah, yeah, it made quite a bit of difference. It's got a lot more torque. I, I rebuilt this, I rebuilt the gearbox. I didn't rebuild the, the, the differential, they, they're, they're too tricky to well, do. That's, that's a job for me then, isn't it? The headlamps ought to go down, they're vacuum. It looks in good neck though. The, I mean, it's, the paint's faded, but that will all clear it's up. It's not again. bad, is it? And the fiberglass these, aren't they? Yeah. On a steel yeah. chassis? Yeah. 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 And uh, the, is it Allegro or Morris Marina handles? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the Valor in Syria. No, it's very nice. As I say, we, we, we've had a lot of happy holidays in this. Up in the north coast of Scotland, we like very much indeed. 
it seems a long time ago. It's been sitting in here now for a long time. As I said, we've got a, a sawn. It, 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 I, I, you know, there wasn't much else I could do. It just yeah. needs a new lease of life, really. It just needs a new lease of life. It needs a new lease of life, which is going to get from you. Or, yeah. I've done the brakes, but I really wouldn't like to say what they're like. Anyway. Well, I'll go right through the brakes and the suspension. Yes, yes, yeah. I'll just make sure everything's set up. Oh, I think, you'll, I think you'll like this. I mean, oh, I, 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 I can't remember when I ever saw one on the road. No, I haven't me seen neither. one now for so long. They're, I don't think I've ever seen one I mean, they're collector's pieces, I should think, if people know of them. Yeah. <coughs> and it's still got the original wheels so on there's the all these bits and pieces as well. Oh, so that's a gearbox. That's a gearbox. An engine down there. Engine there, engine there as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Starter motor. Uh, uh, Camshafts. Com yep. Yeah. There's, al there's almost a complete, a complete car in, in, in bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, I may even have some bits. In, in the boxes, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. There's a set of original oh, yeah, wheels here. Wheels, yeah, all those. Wow. They're perfect as well. They're yeah, nice, aren't they? Yeah. See a little vice there. This yes, has been your yeah. workshop oh, no, for no, many no, years, no, no, I can no, no, see. No, no. I used to do a lot of work in here. Yeah. I've always enjoyed working on the cars. It's given me a, a, a lot of pleasure. I've got all these things surmounted on and things like that. But as so you can see, it's a... You're getting cold. Should we go on and get a cup of tea? Yes, let's we'll go and have a cup of tea. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, I've had far more fun with this than I ever will have or would have had with the Porsche. And the Porsche, I, I don't really use it anymore now. I used to use it regularly when I went into North Wales once or twice a week. What, but walking? Since, yes. Yeah. But since I stopped doing that, I, I, I don't use it. There's nothing for me to do it now. I don't. I can't be bothered to take it out to Stanley Woods. It's only eight miles up the road. Yeah. It just isn't worth. So the poor old thing is sitting in there. So I'll be very glad if you want to find it at home. I think you'd like it. Well, we can have a little look at that now. If you yes. Wish. Yeah. Come and have a look at it. <laughs> it goes beautifully, but as I said, I haven't taken it out. I, I just don't seem to. 928 GT. Yeah. Is this, um, it's a manual. Yeah, oh yes. Oh gosh, yes. I would never have an automatic. I, I like to change gear. It's got a lovely engine, this. It's very, very, it's not only powerful, but it's very torquey. Yeah. You, you can almost start in fifth gear yeah. and pull away. Should we go and get a cup of tea, get warm? Yeah. Should we go in the warm and get a cup of tea? Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, is it hot? Is <laughs> so. This is the Lotus, yeah. Yeah, that's a Lotus. Where's this? It that's looks a, like that's it's on, on a, a ferry going across the sky. Going across the sky. Across the sky. Got oh. sky on that side. And, uh, and of course, you. Oh yeah. What does that say? You recognise that? July nineteen eighty four Lotus on the Coronet. And that's my Jaguar. Looking the over to Ardgar. Wow. Oh, and that's my that's old crazy. Albus. Is that you, John? Showing a bit of yes. love? <laughs> That's up on the Denby Moors. I was young once. <laughs> Weren't we all? This is where we used to be. I used to go walking in Snowdonia, and Jan used to come and join in and, and bring our picnic tea. So that's up on the Denby Moors where we used to go quite a lot. So would you both like to go walking? No. Uh, no. You, Jan, just, you just stay by the picnic. I walk, but Jan does quite a lot of walking, actually, but I, not, with, I not with me. can't walk with him because he goes too fast. <laughs> Um, I've I'll never have to remember that. Oh, that's, 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 that's the fittest, I couldn't do that. So this is the E-Type? That, that's in the, yes. So was this like a, a racing E-Type Jag, was it? It, 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 it wasn't an E-Type, no, it was pre-E-Type. Um, I, I've forgotten what it was. The pre-E-Type was the D-Type, or the C-Type, wasn't it? D-Type? Yeah. I, I don't know what what it was. It was a straight six, but I don't know what it was. I thought it was an eight hour. And that, that's up on the Denby Moors, and that's our little dog. Wow. And that's, that's... That looks like an Alvis. It is an Alvis again. Oh, yes, the same. When again. I met him, he had two and a half Alvises. <laughs> two and a half? What, one for parts? No, it's what was this? You bought one. You, you shared one of the Alvises with um, D David. I can't remember. When, when we first met, you had owned half of them. Yes. 
Oh yes, I did. Yes, you're quite right. John, what was that story you told me about when you went um, you went to... away for the weekend with your friend, <laughs> and Tom was interested in your friend, and there was only two single rooms or something. Oh. oh. Well, that, that's I'm not being nosy, just tell me no, everything. that's all right. It's more or less how I met him. I had met him, but my friend and I were going on holiday and she mucked up all the arrangements for transport. I think we'd be very and lucky he, living so near nice outdoors. He suggested he should outdoors. come and down, take us down in the car. Right. Um, so that meant that he had one single room and that we had to do a double up on the other single room. So yeah. you were two of you in a, a single bed, you and your friend? Yeah. Who ended up on the floor? Muggins once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a single bed all to himself in the next room, yeah? yeah. So what, then you moved in on? The, we, we had a very nice holiday and a few days before we were, came back, he said, when we get back, will you go out with me? <laughs> I've forgotten what I did with that, where I sold it or who bought it. Oh, back to cars, yeah, okay. Mum? Batter the cars, are we? Yeah, yes. yeah I, 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 no, I, we're I, talking about how, how you and Jan met. I just don't remember <laughs> where that <laughs> no, went to. You remember about the cars, but you don't remember how you and Jan met. I like the yeah. wheels on that. I've never seen wheels like that. It's, 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 it was very nice, but it it was... It's it, definitely an E-type. It, it didn't bump. It's a definitely an E-type. It is. It's, it's, well, it's not a pre-type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It might be a prototype E-type. Um, um, it had been it had been raced, but it had not been a, a yes, road yeah, car. Yes, yeah, the company. It was never a road that's car. That's somewhere in Snowdonia. Yeah. And that's me that's on it. something called the Cooling Ridge on Sky. Yeah. On the in pin. Yes, the inaccessible pinnacle. The inaccessible pinnacle. Yes. Tom, as a young doctor about town in an E-type Jag, a racy type Jag, a Lotus yes. Elite. I mean, you must have looked, you must have been in the big wheel in them days. <sighs> you didn't. He. He, he, he wasn't exactly a young doctor when we got it. Well, no. He'd gone through the doctor phase. Oh, well, but these bring back very happy uh, memories of, of days he out. A, um, a lecturer instead. So you were a lecturer for surgeons in for, anatomy. Yeah, yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's a pretty yeah. top uh, job, isn't uh, it? It's very uh, important, for, for, very responsible yeah, job. Uh, I used to have courses on Wednesday afternoon for uh, doctors or, or going for higher degrees. Mm. Um, and in, I enjoyed teaching very much indeed. But when they changed the whole course, we had a new professor and he changed the whole course and it just became pointless. They, they just walked around looking at bits of bone and bits of this and, and at pictures. And that, that was it. And I, I, I continued to teach the postgraduates for quite a while after that. And then that, that was it. I, I packed it in and retired at 60. How old are you now, 91? Uh, 91. So 31 years ago, yeah. you retired? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. It's nice being um, retired. It's been very nice. Yeah. I've enjoyed we, we moved in retirement. here. We've been here 50 years. I retired at 59. Yeah. I decided I was just not going Looking to... Looking back, I... Uh, thought you'd beat them through. And what did you do, John? I was a nurse yes. in oh, Clatterbridge. Yeah. Part-time, yeah. part-time staff yeah. nurse at Clatterbridge. Yeah. Looking back, you know, it's, it's been very satisfactory. We perhaps could have done more or earned more or whatever, but it's been a very satisfactory no, life. You, you couldn't we, have we, earned we've more. Done, we've done what, we, <laughs> what, 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 what I've fun. done pretty well, what could I wanted to do. You <laughs> it's, Tell me about your national service then. Where were you posted? The Hong Kong. Of the tank regiment? Yes, or yeah, the, I, got a tank, I got a tank driving licence. Really? Well, I, I had a tank driving licence. It was great fun. I enjoyed driving. So you used that. to pull up in a tank outside the pub? And well, going for a few drinks, uh, it would have been nice to do that. But the, they didn't have such interesting tax as they have now. We had something called a Churchill, right? A big heavy thing. Yeah. Um, uh, but it was all right. I so I got my tank driving license. That takes me back. I've forgotten, I've forgotten a lot of that. That's probably what gave you the bug for cars. Very probably. Yes. Yeah. No, I was always a car enthusiast. I bought a a a, 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 Cooper, a Cooper S, and I stripped the engine down and had it bored out and a new crankshaft and I built that up to uh, a 1410. That was very, very, very quick. And I had special discs. Ah, when you that first, was good, I enjoyed When that. you first bought the, that Cooper S, you saw the advertisement and yeah. we went down to That's my right, parents. That's right, we went down to yeah. South England. To my yeah. parents yes, in yes. South. And you went off to That's um, right. yes. see it with my father. Yes. And he came back and he said, oh, 
I got to respect for Tom's yeah. ideas on cars, but he said, my God, it's a bit of a mess, this one. Yeah, Cooper and is very I well. had to drive it back up here, a couple of hundred, yeah. I think, miles. You drove the ordinary Mini back and I drove the Cooper no, S. No, no, no. I had the Cooper S. Did you? Because the, the, it jumped, it wouldn't go into third gear. And every time I saw a roundabout, I thought, oh my God, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Um, I hadn't had my test all that long. Uh, in fact, it was the first time I'd ever done uh, as long a drive as that. Uh, from some it's been a great pleasure area, motoring throughout my life. I mean, whatever I've driven, I've enjoyed. I enjoyed driving tanks. Yeah, they were, they were great fun. Speaking of the Lotus, Tom, before we lose the lights, we go and have a look. Yes, away. yes, yeah, yes. He'll be coming any moment, will he? Yes, he will. Come on, then. You don't need me, do you? But as jolly and as matter of fact as Tom was appearing, I could see that part with his old friend was really paining him. And I vowed to myself at this moment that when the car was finished, the first person that was going to see it was Tom, and I'd take him for one final drive. That's brilliant, that means. First time it's been out in fresh air for Absolutely, what? Absolutely, yes. 10 yeah. years, 15 years? Yeah, probably, yes, yeah. Oh, I shall miss the old thing. But as long as I see it every now and again, Keep the charge pumped up. Okay, you don't. And just the way the car simply rolled out of the garage, the way the doors shut, and the car's solid appearance. After its layup, after all those years, it was testament really to Tom's love and care for the car. Sorry to see you, sir. I'm glad we think it's going to have another life. I'll see you later. Launched in May 1974, the Lotus Elite was pitched at the mid-70s luxury market and remained in production until 1982. Intended to be a sophisticated, luxurious upmarket sports coupe with a higher price level than its predecessors, and more importantly part of Colin Chapman's ambitious plans to take the company upmarket to compete with the likes of the futuristic Citroen SM and the VA-powered Alfa Montreal. Unlike its earlier namesake, the Type 75 was never supplied as a self-build kit, but only as a finished turnkey product. With its wedge-shaped body, and velour and suede interior. This fiberglass body on a steel chassis formed a familiar sight amongst the 1970s elite and celebrities alike. Look at this, all velvet, all in lovely condition. That'll clean up nicely. Um, take a look at the dash here, with the clock and all these switches. I mean, it's like an aeroplane. Lovely original stereo. 
and hear the power. It's amazing that. What's this? Daily Express, July the 11th, 1984. Enjoy looking through all this. We've got the books here, as you can see. That ah, workshop manual, absolutely priceless. So it's in the glove compartment. Nothing. Look at that, work of art for Micah. 70s chic. Nice little key ring there. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I know it's been off the road for quite a few years now. I think it was eight years and all he was saying. But what a car. You can see it's been well used, well looked after. Um, let's have a look at the headlining. There is no headlining. It's obviously crumpled and fallen away over the years. Um, you can see it needs absolutely everything. It needs a complete refurb in the interior, but a lot of this will clean up quite well, uh, including the carpets. So um, look at this, the velvet door panels as well. So 70s. Wow. The clock's working and it's been off the roll for eight years. That battery must be some battery. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, that's incredible. The radio's got power. Crazy. I have a lot of fun doing this, I tell you. Wow. What's the way the door's shut? Lovely. Austin Allegro or Morris Marina. We come round the back. I don't even know how this opens. How did he open this? Absolutely no idea. Must be a switch inside. Let's have a look here. We trim off the front dash. And well, let's see what the back seats are like. Hey, I'll take this off. Put this on to be taken. Condition, aren't they? Look like they've never been sat in. <sighs> I mean, it's a shame about the headlining, but these always need doing anyway. When this material, it's like the uh, the XK8 and the XJS that I've done. But um, I think this is. I'm really happy with this. I think it's going to clean up the majority of it anyway, really nicely. I might have to recover the front seats and obviously the moth bitten carpets. But on the whole, you know, if you look underneath here. These are like over rugs, and underneath the carpets are perfect, they'll clean up a treat. I know it doesn't look like they will, but I promise you it will. It's like the moths have eaten the top bit. The carpets underneath have been protected. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Take a look at the engine. I think there were cooling pipes missing. Oh yeah, this has been undone here. I have to work out where that goes. And there was another one I forgot to pick up. I'll go back for that. Um, I'll get some antifreeze in it and 
make sure the engine's turned and hopefully we'll get it started in the next few days. April 2015, so that's what, seven, eight years ago. Smells nice. You know what? Still got anti freezing. Not much. But at least it's got water in it anyway. I mean, it's a car that's been well used, but well looked after as well. And you can see the original wheels, uh, which is unusual. Because normally they've been changed over the years. All this chrome, all this bling. Tyres still inflated, and in good condition. They'll all have to be changed, of course. Bits of trim missing here. Um... I'll probably find this in his garage when I go back for the other bits. But, you know, considering it's fiberglass, all the gel seems in really good condition. There's no splits, no cracks anywhere. Oh, a, as I say, it's an excellent candidate for the restoration. Thank you for watching this episode of Classic Obsession. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And join me next time when I'm back on the Rolls Corniche.